Good morning, interwebs. It is 7.54. I'm just sitting here on the couch. I'm about to handball this last ball of yarn. I've been balling yarn today um, for part of the day. Just trying to clean things up in my office and also kind of prep a project that I'd like to start soon, which involves balling up this yarn. Today, they began the road work outside my house, so that's been an interesting thing. I woke up before 9, thankfully not to them tearing up the road. Like, it wasn't the road people that woke me up, but I woke up, well, I got out of bed around then. I actually woke up around 7 originally, and I made myself go back to sleep for a little bit. So got up and around and stuff, and then I've had that looming headache come on and off all day, which has been super fun. Um, and when I haven't had a headache, I've felt it like it's it's hanging out in the background. Like, even if it doesn't, like, actively, like, hurt, hurt, it's just, like, a weird off feeling. It's not fun, but I'm hopeful that it will, that it will go away soon. Um, I took a, like, a two and a half, three hour nap this afternoon. That helped a lot. Um, but yeah, they're working on our road. Not sure how that's going. Um, basically, I guess they're tearing up our current asphalt road. And then they're going to lay a base layer of asphalt. Go figure. And then they put gravel on top of that or something. They were very, like, loosey-goosey when they explained how they were going to do it to us. And then their plan for whether or not we can drive on it is a little loosey-goosey, too. So I guess we'll find that out when Steve goes to work tonight at 11. He's getting up a little early because he knows it's going to take him a little longer. He's going to take a back way out. Um, probably. So we'll see. That's... I don't know. I'm going to be excited when it's all done, but the process kind of sucks. Like, they clearly don't care <laughs> that we live on that road. It's also annoying because, like, they're doing road work on a smaller section of road by where Steve works. Like, it's a block that was closed off. And they had tons of signage, and they made a big deal about it, and they told people how to get around. Like, they were telling you detour information to go around a block. Like, if you're an idiot and can't figure out your way around a block as opposed to a two mile section of road, which is what we have, and then it ends between any connecting roads. So, you know, like detour information and what they want us to do would be great, right? But no, nothing, because we live, we don't live in town, so we don't matter. But that is neither here nor there. Hopefully it will just be done soon and then we can stop having to deal with it. Anyways. That happened today. Oh, there's holes in my ceiling. See those? That's what Steve did today. There's holes. And look, you see that wire? That wire is eventually going to be lighting. And under there, there's now outlets. And there's going to be another light switch for that lighting. So, we're making progress. It's again that it looks worse before it looks better. But, I did, I did tell you, right, that he finished putting in that batch of cabinets is all done and the countertop is on. We're waiting for the uh, the drawer unit that goes with that before we can do this side. But yeah, we're making progress on those. Um, it had gone super fast and now it's kind of at a standstill. Porch project is at a standstill for the next couple of days because there's supposed to be intermittent storms, which like I say, is probably why the headaches are happening. I don't know. So I'm going to go back to rolling my yarn and we're going to have leftovers of whatever's in the fridge. There's a couple kinds of pasta and things in there leftovers of that for dinner and then yeah I don't know what the rest of the evening is going to bring last night I went to bed about midnight so maybe I'll go to bed early again tonight we'll see probably would be a good plan since they're gonna start working on the road I assume at eight in the morning so they oh and then everything that they drive beeps as they back up so there's like a there was a constant beeping all day today which was again super fun with a headache super fun okay off to go and ball some yarn. Well, it is a quarter to four in the morning and I'm finally like, I don't know, settled enough that I'm ready to go to bed. Um, I am feeling a lot better. Spent most of my, my night after everybody went to bed, cleaned up the kitchen and stuff, and then I sat down to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and 
crochet on my nephew's afghans that was good i was watching um like panel interviews and stuff from some different tv shows and that was enjoyable i watched one episode or like a a recording of a Larry King live interview and I've not I don't think I've ever watched a full episode of Larry King in my life and clearly there's a reason it was yeah anyways it was interesting to see how much the world has changed in the last like I don't know 15 plus years how much is still very the same unfortunately but how much better some things are so anyways here's my here's my afghan as it seems oh yeah and ignore the really annoying sound of the uh of the cat in my way. No, she's silent, basically. But of the uh, fan in here, I don't have my other power strip plugged in right now. But yeah, so I've made tons of progress. I mean, look at how many cats wide the afghan already is. I'm more than halfway as far as rows or rounds or whatever, so that's good. <sighs> but I'm going to go to bed. And tomorrow, I'm hoping that I wake up feeling better than I did this morning and that I can have a more productive, better day. Hopefully I feel up to making a list when I wake up and then following through on that list. We'll see. I, I make no promises and I'm just gonna go with whatever happens, but, but I can hope, right? Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.